Well, I guess we're rolling now. So let me start this video over. Will I ever be done working on the Tundra? It seems like the answer is never. There's still one or two things that I want to fix that bother me. And uh, if you were following the videos, I was uh, thinking about doing some seatbelt repair. So let's see what we can do about that. Step one is always when there's an electrical plug involved, disconnect the battery, gut the wrench, I'll do that, and then I'll take you over to the other side and we'll see what's going on. Okay, here's your first tip. Let me get a screwdriver in here so I can manipulate things, get you in the screen. Right here, this little tab is flipped up. You need to push it down get it out of the way and that'll allow you to unplug the connector which it seems comes out okay let me fool with it some more I'm about to make a few people on YouTube cry it appears there's one bolt here easy to get to the other bolt that holds down the back side of this I believe it's right there so I'm just going to slice an X in the carpet to get to it. And uh, no, I think I might put a, a regular slice to get this out. But I'm not dismantling the world. I'm going to try just a little cut in the carpet. Nobody will know but me. Well, let me bring you back. This was a little interesting. When I uh, started looking at the carpet more... The factory's already got a flap that just slips under the uh, plastic piece here. So you flip it back and uh, there's access to this bolt, which the other part of the seat belt. So where are we at? Right here in the front. Like I said, I've already unplugged the connection and I actually broke it free already before I shifted the camera. I think what's going to be interesting is how hard is this bad boy to sneak out of its position. Because the plan I'm using is I'm going to swap this one with the driver's side. And uh, that's the fix. Okay, let's see if we can get it out. Oh my god, this just comes right out so, so friggin' easy. Wow, I mean, that was like 10 minutes total time. And I believe I can easily swap this now with the other side and put the, the warm belt over here and the new belt on the opposite side. All right, that's the video. I'll bring you back when it's all done together. Just remember the plug has this up down locking lever. That seemed to be the only thing that was not straightforward. All right, I showed you me sneaking it out. I'll show you me sneaking it back in. Again, I'm just reversing the driver and the passenger side because this seat belt's kind of tired. That's it. Now there's also little location tabs here. So, you know, wiggle it around, make sure you're in there and in the spot. They're so loose, the threads, that I have to kind of 
hold the socket to get the ratcheting action. Otherwise, it just turns in and turns out. There we go. It's in. Now, let me give that a good twist. Tight. Okay. Put the plug in. There's only really one way this will go. If you feel you don't have enough room to do it in place, plug it in before you sneak it in. There appears to be a little bit of slack here on this thing. Well, that's done. Now the back side bottom is a bolt, but the next place I'm going to is up top. So up top, and then you just put this bolt down. It's a done deal. It really is. All right, I'm going to hang you up so I can get the camera out of the way and get this done. Well, let me do a little wrap up on this uh, seatbelt video. The swap is so simple. It's three bolts, unplug. You don't even have to really take off anything but that one plastic piece, which is nothing. It just pops out of the way. Now, I must say the driver's side seatbelt now works perfectly. I mean, this thing is like brand new. In, out. I love it. The same cannot be said for the seat belt that was the driver's side. The passenger side seat belt now is, uh, not only is it looking pretty rough, it's kind of glitchy coming out. It's one of those belts that you got to kind of tease your way out to get it to uh, come up. A little bit here or there. But it still works, so until I get it replaced, send it in. And again, I think that took me less than 10 minutes to, to pull it off the wall, off the floor, out. Very simple, no trim to fix up. God, I hate that. Look, nobody likes a barking dog, especially the owner. You suck, you suck. This dog is named after Dusty Rhodes, professional wrestler, American dream, because of the damn mouth. And she took a cheap shot at me when she was a puppy. Yes, a cheap shot.